This is RF hub. Uh, these are the connectors and this is a plastic case. You can easily open it. Inside there is a PCB here and if you take off the, the board On the back of the board, this is the main CPU. This is the Motorola uh, Freescale MC9S12 chip. It has internal flash, data flash, and a program flash, as well as a EEPROM. And uh, on the on the front side, the this is the BDM pinout. Uh, it is standard MC9S standard pin pinout and the spacing is also standard so you can solder a pin header like i did on this module and this one is this one is ground this is reset pin and this is the uh the background pin the protocol is very similar to the uh M ecu e38 slave chip so in order to access it you need 1.63 to be able to program it Here is the cable and I need to connect the ground and then the uh, reset pin which is the, the orange one and then the uh, brown is the background pin. So only three pins are needed and then you can use the uh, Unink NT to plug in here and plug it into the USB hub. Uh, in the meantime here I have the 12 volt power supply and uh, this one I can display the um, voltage as well as the amperage. So now I'm going to power on and um, in initially you will see some current like 10 milliamps or 15 milliamps but if we stay for idle for a while or if we go to the uh, debug on mode then the current goes to zero don't worry and the CPU is still running we can still access the CPU. So in the software here we can uh, have the 1.63 and we need to uh, select the target as 9S12X XEG384 the 384 means 384 kilobyte of program flash. It also has a 32 kilobyte of um, uh, data flash and then a 4 kilobyte of EEPROM. So let's go here, detect. And after detect, we can see that it goes to BDMR and it gets the device ID and C42, uh, C482. It also shows 32 kilobyte of flash. Now 384 kilobyte flash has two blocks. One is called uh, flash one, program flash one, and the other one is program flash zero, but they are not continuous. So one is at seven eight zero 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 uh, with the size two zero zero, and the second block is seven C zero 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 to the end. Uh, by the way, if you look at the current here, it shows zero. Uh, if I type reset, you can see it go to 10 milliamps and if I hit the tag again, go to the debug on, it goes to zero. So the very first thing to do is to uh, back up everything and uh, you can select the option here, say I want to auto save. So you can select here, I'm going to say I have EEPROM. So you can say I'm going to read EEPROM, it will say save EEPROM. And then I, I'm going to select the data flash. I'm going to read the data flash and save the data flash. I also need to back up the program one and then I can read. And program zero, I can read as well. So now we have a good backup here 
and um, that's for demonstration purpose. I'm going to erase the data flash first. So select the data flash. I'm going to erase it. And then I'm going to blank check, see if it's blanked. It is blank. So now I'm going to program back the, uh, the data flash. I'm also going to erase the program one and program zero, so I'm going to erase it. I'm going to erase it. So if I blank check the, uh, the program zero, and program one, they are all blanked. So um, if we power cycle this way, then the, uh, the RF hub is bricked, but don't worry, the BDM is fully capable of recovering it. So uh, let's, let's do a, a power off and power on. So power off and power R. If you detect it, it will say it's secured. And once secured, you are seem to be dead. You can say unlock. The unlock will erase everything, include the D flash as well as the P flash one and the P flash zero. So if you look at the blank P of the data flash, it will be blanked as well. So I'm going to write blank flash, uh, the data flash. So now I'm going to write data flash and P flash one and P flash zero are also blanked. We need to uh, so write the P flash one. So P flash one is programmed. Let's program the P flash zero, and let's write it. Uh, by the way, the connection is in here, button here. So we have ground pin, reset pin, and background pin uh, connected. So if you are speed at like four kilobyte to five kilobyte programming, that's a normal speed. So programming passed, then do a verification. It should take a few seconds to verify it. And it's done, so let's do the EEPROM. EEPROM is like a regular RAM. It's not going to program. And if you look at the configuration, the EEPROM is not treated as the, the flash. It's just a, like a RAM. You can read and uh, poke and peek it. So just do a write, and this will really fast. So and we can verify it's okay. So uh, the Unicant is fully capable of programming uh, this RF hubs with very little um, effort because the BDM pin connector is available on this device. Uh, some other hubs may not have the visible BDM connector, but we should be able to find the pinout and be able to do the BDM as well.